Welcome to another episode of Our Official Intelligence, the place to come for information around AI and intelligent automation. From tutorials on UiPath Studio X and AI news and book reviews, to analysis of the latest AI startups. Here is your host, Arif Khan. I know what you're thinking. Was that person real or not? And I bet you there were times when you thought it was real and other times where you thought maybe that was computer generated, right? Let's watch it again. Welcome to another episode of Our Official Intelligence, the place to come for information around AI and intelligent automation. From tutorials on UiPath Studio X and AI news and book reviews, to analysis of the latest AI startups. Here is your host, Arif Khan. As you may have now guessed, the intro video was generated using AI. This video clip is also generated using AI. The software company behind it is called Synthesia. Synthesia are a company that help people create professional AI-generated videos from text in 50-plus languages. According to the website, it saves time, money, and nerves. You may have seen it mentioned recently online by AI celebrity Ali K. Miller, global head of machine learning business development at AWS. I had planned to do a video on a completely different topic, but having used Synthesia to generate that intro video, I was just blown away by what it was able to achieve and decided to do a video focused purely on this exciting AI startup. I want to explore in the video today how it works, what the implications are for the wider world, and what we can learn in general about AI and automation from, from Synthesia as an example. I also want to emphasize this is not a paid commercial. I have no commercial relationship or link with Synthesia. Although having said that, Given how great the results were when I did a quick test, I have signed up for the personal plan and will be using it in my videos going forward. So I suppose I am now a customer. Let's delve into how it works. There's literally three steps to the process. Firstly, select your presenter. Secondly, type in a script. And number three, generate the video. The video is generated in just seconds as well, which makes it really fulfilling and exciting to use. So how is the AI technology able to produce something like this? There's been technology in the market for some time that can manipulate or generate video frames. You may have seen some websites or apps that let you take a photo of your own face and add it to scenes in famous Hollywood movies. There's also been the whole area around deep fakes on the internet appearing to show world leaders or celebrities making statements they never did. This is the same underlying techniques, but here it's being applied in a more positive way. And I think there's a lesson in that. And there's also a wider lesson in what Synthesia does in terms of the full creative end-to-end -end process. But before we get into that, let's take a look at the features this product has and watch the video till the end where I'll also explain how you can get your hands on a free trial. I have some impressive features. First of all, dump in any text, choose from 40 AI avatars and have it generate your video in, in seconds. In addition, there's support for 50 different languages. So you can same that, take that same script and have it translated into other languages, which is ideal for generating the same video content in multiple languages without having to re-record the video. But it gets better than that. Things that you'd expect, like being able to add custom backgrounds and images is one thing, but also you can upload your own audio as well. So you may want to generate the machine uh, video of someone talking, but replace it with your own natural voice. And where things get really interesting is this feature, the ability to add custom avatars. Yep, that's right. It just takes a few minutes. You can create your own uh, video content, pictures for off yourself and have it generate a avatar, which will be you speaking instead. Now, it's worth talking about this in a little bit more detail. So creating the custom avatar, look, this is a paid for feature. It does cost $1,000 to create your own avatar. But what that means is now you'll have a virtual representation of your own face and voice, and you'll be able to create video content off you speaking without the need for actually recording it like I'm doing now, for example. I think it's important to also mention the start of the process is obtaining the consent of the person being recorded. Now, this gets into the whole moral area of the deep fake side of things. So to prevent this system from being abused, where you just take footage of any person you want to generate them saying something, there is a requirement for when you create a custom avatar for the explicit consent of that person to be presented and recorded as part of the footage that you actually upload. So what are the implications for this technology and what does that say about the wider AI space? Well, first of all, this will impact those people whose job it is, I guess, to be generating this video footage in the first place, whether that be presenters, actors, maybe people like me creating YouTube content. 
But then I reflected on this a little bit more. We talk about AI technology and automation as freeing up people from the mundane and repetitive. Is that what is happening here? Or is AI taking over? And that forced me to try and break down the process of creating video into a few different chunks. And what I realized was the creative element is the script writing, it's the producing, it's understanding what you want to convey and stitching it all together. Actually recording someone talking to the camera and speaking and having the right lighting and things like that, for that section of just you speaking, that's actually the mundane and repetitive part. And if I can automate that, generate it in multiple languages, create different permutations and adjustments of it and personalize it in a really fast automated way, that means I can focus on the creative side and generate more content quicker. And that's what we're always talking about in the world of automation, freeing up people from the repetitive side, allowing them to focus on the creative side, which is what at the moment, anyway, humans excel at and the machines are nowhere near as good at. That's my takeaway for today. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think about this technology. Are there some negative aspects that I haven't thought about? What are your thoughts? And will you be using Synthesia in terms of your content? And finally, as promised, I'll explain how to sign up for a free trial. Well, it couldn't be easier. You've got a couple of options. You can either talk to this lovely chat bot in the bottom right hand corner and click the try free demo option or on the main page, just click this create a free AI video. This will take you to a page where it will allow you to enter some text, a script. There is a limit of 200 characters for that first example. Choose a style of video, put your script in there, off you go, provide an email address and you'll be sent a link to the video within about two minutes. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video on the Arif Ishal Intelligence channel. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and consider subscribing to the channel for more AI-related content. Until next time, peace.